Hey, it's Natalie, and I have a question for you, a question that I think you can help me answer. What is a virtuous woman? I know that you are familiar with Proverbs chapter 31, and where it talks about a woman of noble character, a virtuous woman. But what does that mean, especially in 2020? What does a virtuous woman look like? How does she live her life? What does she sound like when she opens her mouth? How is she carrying herself? And how is she living her life in 2020? What's her lifestyle? I want to know how you would describe a virtuous woman. And this is important as we think about living our faith out loud and being a witness wherever we go. And many times the, the Christian jargon is being a light in a dark world. I say it all the time. But being a virtuous woman, what does it mean? Because what I find is that sometimes we say things and we really don't think about what they mean. Or more importantly, we say it but we don't apply it to ourselves. And oftentimes when we read the Bible, we are guilty of that. We'll read it and say, oh, that's for the Israelites or oh, that's for those people in biblical times, but it doesn't have anything to do with me. But that's not true. Because if the Bible doesn't have anything to do with us today, then why do we read it, <laughs> right? It's because it's still relevant. You see, in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, it says there's nothing new under the sun. And so the people in the biblical days, guess what? We are still acting like them today. We are descendants of them, in fact. And the stories that we read in biblical days, unfortunately, are still true today. And so I say all of that to say, read Proverbs chapter 31 verses 10 through 21, where it describes this ideal, aspirational woman who uh, blesses her family, blesses her husband, blesses her community. I mean, she is this woman that I don't know if she's one woman or just a culmination of many women, but I'm asking you the question, what is a virtuous woman? What does she look like? What does she sound like? Meaning her words. And if you're looking at a crowd of a hundred women, how would you pick her? How would she stand out? Is there something special about her? And how would she live in this crazy world in 2020 where it seems like everything goes? It seems like everybody's lying. It seems like everybody wants to be somebody else instead of being who they are. And so how would this virtuous woman live her life in 2020? Now I'm going to challenge you to read Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 21 and to write down your description of a virtuous woman, but then to take it a step further. Once you've written down your description, ask yourself, are you the virtuous woman that you just described? Or do you have some work to do? Mm. You see, we can't read the Bible and think that it's talking about somebody else. If it is supposed to be a lamp into our feet and a light into our path and the blueprint for the believer, then we have to make application. So I wanna know how you define a virtuous woman. I literally want you to talk back to me. I want you to post it in the comment section of wherever you're watching this video or because I really want to know what you think a virtuous woman is. And the part about whether you are her or not, that's between you and the Lord. You can figure that out and then you can take the steps to celebrate that you are or do the work so that you can become however you describe that virtuous woman to be. So I'm looking forward, seriously, I'm looking forward to your comments. Talk back to me. Let me hear what your thoughts are so that we can grow together. And so if you feel blessed, like this video, share it, subscribe to my YouTube station, and most importantly, my sister, apply what you just heard. Don't just like it, 
don't just share it and subscribe. I need you to then take a step further and apply whatever message resonated with you so that you can live a victorious life today. Be blessed.